Hey, good morning from Raptor Pack Adventures. It is Friday morning. Good morning, everybody. We are at Emerald Forest Cabins RV and Tent Campground. We're going to take you on a little uh, walkabout, uh, let you see the park. Today is Friday, May 17th, and uh, we got in yesterday and had a really nice evening of relaxing here at the park. So thought I'd uh, show you their facilities and uh, just uh, in case you're wondering if you want to come here, uh, it's actually a really nice park. We're in Trinidad, California, up in the beautiful Redwoods. So let me take you on a walk. <laughs> So as you arrive, you'll come in. This is the entrance to the park. And they got a really nice little office and mini market. Uh, they carry uh, the necessary supplies. If you want a cold beer or a soda, they have wine and they have souvenirs. So you come in here and this is where you park uh, to register. They do have firewood, <clears throat> although... Uh, in my opinion, it's a little expensive. We bought a bundle and it was $12 a bundle. They have ice. And the really cool thing about this, <clears throat> they were able to put a park nestled among all these beautiful redwood trees. So off to uh, our left here is the full hookups. You get electric sewer and water. We did not choose this. And they go back into there. <clears throat> As you come in, here's what's really cool for the kids. <clears throat> they have a video arcade. Isn't that cool? As of right now, there is a group of middle school kids are here on their end of the year uh, trip. They have recycling, which I like. Look at this newspaper, cardboard. They have all your bottles, plastic, clear glass. This is really nice. So, hey, let's take a look. Look at there for the kids. So, the kids have something fun to do while they're staying here. This is really cool. And I have an old western gate to come in. And we'll take you back down here. A lot of cabins. They have a lot of cabins here. And they're really kind of cool. They go way in the back, back in there. And then as you come in, you got a cabin here on our right. You come to this beautiful, I guess it's like a little uh, park in here. Over to our right, this is the kids' park. Got a little play structure. They have horseshoes on the other side of the park for the kids to play on. And let me show you inside here. They have a lot of sights here, a lot of sights. They've got this, uh, <clears throat> I'm not a, very smart man, but ain't the, look at this. This is kind of cool. <clears throat> I could see uh, maybe a wedding. <laughs> and everywhere you go in this park, there's no excuse for not picking up after your dogs. They have dog stations with bags and garbage cans all over. We have barbecue. Looks like that one at one time, that was a water fountain. But you can see all the cabins that you could come and stay here if you don't have an RV or you don't want a tent camp. All right. Well, I'm gonna, we're going to get up over here. And as we go over there, we're going to take a left. And that's where the RV park, where a lot of the trailers, and this is where we're staying. When you come in, you will come right down through here. The office is up over there. And you come through here. Uh, it's plenty big, big enough to uh, get a large fifth wheel. Uh, we have a 31 foot motor home, had no issues. We were towing our Jeep. And this is where 
the kids were staying last night. <clears throat> Over here, you have a meeting hall, which is really good. So if you have a big group and you want to come rent some of these cabins, um, they have a they have a hall there, so you can hold activities, group activities, meetings. There's the horseshoe pits, and this is the uh, this is the playground. You can play frisbee out here, football. Um, just a lot to do in this little park. I shouldn't say little, it's actually kind of big. So, this morning I'm taking my old buddy Todd for his walk and taking you guys on a tour. Very peaceful and quiet. So as you come around this corner, you're gonna get into where all the RVs are. But look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh. Behind the meeting cabin room, <coughs> excuse me, you have a group camp fire center right there. Isn't that neat? So you, if you have a group, guys can all have a campfire together. They're very serious on this space heater thing. Uh, I guess they don't... Uh, they definitely do not want throwing their breakers and all that. As you come over here to your left, yes, even your fur babies have a park. This is the dog park, which was awesome for us as we have our three dogs that go everywhere with us. And when we got here, dogs are itching to get out of the truck or the car and you have the Bark Park. <laughs> yeah. You can let your dogs in there off leash. Let them run around. These are your pull through sites. All in the middle are all pull through. Uh, you won't have to disconnect if you're pulling a vehicle or your trailer if you're just here for one night. And there we are. We had a neighbor last night. Nice couple from Florida. Again, these are your pull-throughs. We had a back end, so I had to disconnect our Jeep right there. And right behind us is a little creek. So there we are. That is the Raptor Den on Wheels. More pull-through sites. Take you over to the bathhouse. Very clean. <clears throat> the bathrooms are nice. Uh, they do have showers, <clears throat> although they are coin-operated. I'm not sure of the price, but bring your quarters if you're going to take a shower, because there will be a slight charge. Again, more of your RV parking over here. I'm kind of cutting through the middle. Yeah, this is a big loop. But all of these sites in here, I believe, yes, are electric and water only. No sewer hookups. And there's no dump station here. That, that would be a negative. So there's the men's. I would take you inside, show it to you, but I forgot the code to the door. <laughs> There's your ladies, but we did go in yesterday and it's very clean. There's a tent camper over there. <clears throat> These are more hookups. It's May 17th, so there's not a lot of people here. I bet in the summertime, this place could get kind of full. Site 65, kind of a pull through site. And another dog station over there. I guess uh, you can let them run over here, but this is the leech field <laughs> for their sewer system. <clears throat> Way in the back, there's a loop. That's all tent camping. So if you come in here, uh, if you're moto camping off your motorcycle, bicycle, or just even 
out of your vehicle, they have a lot of tent sites. From here, this takes you back down to more tent sites and more cabins. And there's the back side of the cabins I, I showed you over there, back side as you come into here. So that is the park. I think um, it's a rustic park. If you're looking for super high end, um, there's no concrete pads, there's no concrete patios, but we like it. <clears throat> yeah, we like it. You feel, feel like you're in a campground, but you got all the luxuries of electric hookups, water, and if you need sewer, they do have full hookups. So if you were gonna stay here for a week and you wanted your sewer hookups, you could get that. Um, this site, I don't know, site 89, you're backed up to their, I don't know, is that a maintenance building or whatever? <clears throat> Let me show you our site. Yeah, your fire rings way out here, huh? So if we come back, we're gonna hopefully get <clears throat> this site again. This is site 87 <laughs> and it's in there. There's 87. <clears throat> we back up to a little creek in the back of the cabins. We had a campfire last night. We take you to this site. This is behind site 87. I mean, that's not very appealing, but you do get to come down here. Let me take you down behind our site. And there is a creek back there. I'm not sure how much water is in it, but you back up to the little creek right there. I don't think there's hardly any water in it, but look at those cabins. Look at the patios you get behind them. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Pretty nice. Sit out, sit out on your deck in the evening. Yeah, so that is Emerald Forest Cabins, RV, and Tent Camping. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Um, nice park. It's our first time here, and we'll be back. Hey, if you liked uh, this review, uh, check out our channel, uh, Raptor Pack Adventures. Um, it's about the adventures of our family, uh, especially with our son, Josh, who we call Bubba J. Uh, our son has Down syndrome, and it's about getting him out and just enjoying this country and his adventures. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel down below, and uh, we're going to try and get back to doing a lot more park reviews and our opinion of if it's worth coming to and what you would enjoy. So thanks for tuning in. Always remember, travel more, stress less. And never forget, it's just an extra chromosome. Peace out.